Hi, hi. <laughs> now, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Okay, and these two ingredients are meant for treating acne. Okay, but how do you pick the best one for you? So picking the picking it picking any of them is based should be based on the type of acne that you have, the severity of your breakout, your overall more like uh, your overall health, and last but not the least, do you have any underlying condition? Okay, so this. Two ingredients they treat acne but they treat acne differently so that is what I'll be talking about in this video okay I'm going to be telling you what and which of them to use on one on which particular acne all right but before then if you're visiting my channel for the first time my name is Chika Kelly I'm a certified esthetician and I also did natural skincare formulation. Alright, so I know a little bit of our ingredients. Okay, and in this channel, we teach skincare. So basically, we teach you how to look after your skin, how to achieve glowing skin. I recommend skincare products, I do a lot of product reviews, and I also. Um, you know more like talk about skincare yeah talk about skincare everything that has got to do with skincare so if you like what you're watching click the subscribe button and subscribe and also click the bell button when you're subscribing because it gives you like, when you click the, the bell button it gives you uh, updates on what is happening on my channel don't forget to like this video as well it will not cost you anything <laughs> please click the like button and like this video and help me share it to whoever you think it will be it will be beneficial to now benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid what are they and how do they help you with your how does these two ingredients help with your acne oh, uh, when it comes to acne these two ingredients are very popular salicylic acid is part of aha all right and what salicylic acid does to your skin is it treats blackheads and whiteheads it helps to remove dead skin cells that can cause clog pores and cause you to break out why Benzoyl peroxide. So I'm just more like telling you the difference between both of them because they are in as much as they both treat acne, but they are two different ingredients. So benzoyl peroxide works really well on uh, pus filled pimples, more like pustos, you know, those pimples that have got like you can see they have pores on them. So it's very, very good in, in a spot treatment, treating your post uh, field pimples. So you could just use it more like spot treatment on your pimples. Okay, now, how do they do this? How does these two ingredients work on your acne? So the two similarities are this. I'll talk about the similarities and then I'll talk about the differences. The, the two similarities are they both treat breakouts okay both of them both of these ingredients treat breakouts 
both of them dries out your skin okay and both of them are not good for people with sensitive skin okay both of them <laughs> both of them they remove dead skin cells and they remove excess oil on your skin both because those excess oils and those dead skin cells are what clogs your pores and what causes you to break out all right now after the similarities what are the differences between two of them what are the differences the differences i will talk about the two differences based on one how to use them based on who should use it uh, what kind of acne should you use it on and the concentration that you should use to help you treat your acne now when it comes to benzene pyrazides okay it's not recommended for someone that is suffering from eczema dermatitis and sensitive skin because it's actually more it can cause more irritation on your skin if you have the skin conditions and also it's actually more drying can dry your skin a little bit more than salicylic acid okay now how do you use it in a safe way how do you use benzoyl pyrazide and salicylic acid in a safe way okay when it comes to benzoyl pyrazide if you're new to benzoyl pyrazide okay because the first thing is you can get it over the counter meaning you don't need prescription to get these two ingredients which is good okay the second thing is with benzoyl pyrazide if you're new to benzoyl pyrazide please start with to, for, to maybe 2.5 percent concentration for about six weeks and see how your skin is you know response to it okay if it's not if you don't see any improvement on your acne then you can move up to five percent all right you can move up to five percent but you should see a huge difference after six weeks you should see a huge difference. it may not be like you know dramatic but you should see a huge difference on your skin. So start with 2.5% and then move up to 5% with benzoyl pyrazide. Alright? The thing with benzoyl pyrazide is you can, when you are new to it, you start with, you know, a wash. The wash because that facial wash you get that benzoyl pyrazide facial wash. Okay. So you can start with that and then you gradually gradually based on how your skin responds to it because remember sometimes it can cause you irritation on your skin so you start with you know the wash and then you can gradually move to gel version okay if you are not seeing any improvement on your skin a lot of people use up to 10 percent of benzoyl pyrazine it's not a problem but make sure you're working with your skin everything about skincare you have to work with your skin work with your skin see how your skin is reacting to the product before you now especially the likes of benzoyl pyrazine because it's strong okay if you see that okay this acne is not getting any better after for six at least six weeks you can then move the concentration to about you know 10 percent okay you can use benzoyl pyrazide day and night now when you are using basic pyrazide once you apply it on your skin maybe the, the cream or you have to wait for a few minutes for it to absorb in your skin before you now put moisturizer on top okay then you don't put it on your face and immediately you put your moisturizer it's not going to make it, it will make it more like less effective so let it absorb into your skin before you now put your moisturizer on top after a few minutes okay give it like at least two to five minutes before you now put your moisturizer on top there is one ingredient that i'll probably advise you not to use with basic pearls and that's retinoid because they're both exfoliant so retinoid is an exfoliant and using both of them at the same time can cause you severe irritation okay so if you want to use the two of them you can use one in the morning and the other one in the evening time but never apply benzoyl pyrazide and retinol at the same time on your skin because severe skin irritation will be the result 
Okay, now let's move to salicylic acid. Okay, what is the difference? What does salicylic acid do that benzoperoxide doesn't do to your skin? I did the same thing in terms of working on your acne. Okay, so um, when it comes to salicylic acid, the concentration usually ranges from 0.5 to 5 percent. Okay, and salicylic acid is milder than benzoperoxide. So salicylic acid, in as much as yes, it helps to remove excess oil on your skin. So it's more, yeah, it will dry your skin if you use it too much or regularly. You can notice dryness, but it's milder. The dryness that it will give you will not be as much as the dryness that benzoperoxide will give you. Okay, and with salicylic acid as well, it takes several weeks before you begin to notice any huge difference on your blackhead and whitehead because salicylic acid targets your blackhead and whitehead and uh, after some time, it will more like help to get rid of it or reduce the appearance of your blackhead and your whitehead, okay? A lot of people actually cause problems on their skin because they don't know how to use exfoliate. They use too much. That was why I did this video here about the signs of ever exfoliating your skin. Okay, salicylic acid is an exfoliate. Alright, so when you are using salicylic acid, let's say you have a cleanser that has salicylic acid. You shouldn't have salicylic acid peel or salicylic acid a uh, moisturizer that has salicylic acid or a wash that has salicylic acid and then you're using all of them at the same time because that is a little bit too much exfoliation going on in your skin okay so if you have a salicylic acid cleanser that should be enough for you to have you shouldn't be using the peel another product that has contains salicylic acid the cleanser should be enough for you if you have salicylic acid peel the peel should be enough for you okay or you have a serum the serum should be enough for you that's the way exfoliates work so don't have every single product with salicylic acid applying it all the time on your skin too many of it is not good okay too many of it will actually cause more harm than good on your skin another thing is i'll probably not use benzene peroxide and salicylic acid at the same time but because they all both of them work they do the same job okay so you're more like wasting your product so um yeah i know benzene peroxide works with you know pimples posters you know those are post field pimples yeah so if you have those post field pimples they use benzene peroxide use the right product based on your condition don't use something that you know if you have post few pimples don't think salicylic acid is going to do will help you get rid of it it may help dry it out but you know i don't know but i prefer benzene peroxide anyway for post few pimples okay now with salicylic acid just as if just like every other exfoliant you start from small and then you can gradually increase the concentration so if you're new, you can start from 0.5 to 2% and then you can then increase it. Based on how your skin responds to it, you can then increase it to like, you know, 5%. Okay, but this, these are, for those of you asking me, what can you use for your acne? You try it. In as much as nothing maybe gets rid of all your acne totally, it takes a while before you can do that. Your acne will be just be gone totally. Okay, even some that have like going through medication, it still takes a long time. But at least you can start somewhere and work on your acne. But remember, what you eat inside too matters when it comes to acne breakouts. What are you eating? Are you hydrating your skin enough? Are you protecting your skin from the sun? When using these two products, sunscreen is very important. You try and wear your sunscreen to help with your acne. Okay. Uh, protect your skin from the sun all right now i hope you've clicked the like button i hope you've liked this video and i hope you've subscribed if you haven't and also share help me share this video all right 
Remember, treat your skin right and your skin will treat you right. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mwah.